Before we get started, just know there's a 20% discount code next to each link down in the description. So you can use the link to get to each one of these models and then use the discount code that's next to the link to get 20% off. Also, they said that they did some upgrades. So these are able to be disassembled now. They are using a different Loctite or a different thread locker. So that's awesome. And then there's supposed to be some other upgrades that they did with their clips, etc. We'll see as we move along. Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I got four new shielding knives here. This is the Tucson TS-190, the Cobra. And I highly recommend this if you like big belly knives or a little bit of upswept blade. It's, it's not too ridiculous, but it does upsweep a little bit. But man, is this one a good one. This is definitely one of their good ones. Night Morning Design, M390. Super good action. The milling is really nice. Lots of milling on the inside to bring down the weight. Very slicey, nice and thin behind the edge. Beautiful sharpening choil. Good access to the lock bar. This is just a really, really good one. Now, let's get into these bad boys. So, first one we got, how do you pronounce that? Bazookan? I'll just show it really quick. Bazookan. We do have one in here that has 14C28M. Okay, this is interesting. I might have to wipe the blade down. Let me uh, get a rag. Good flipping action. They come coated with a little bit of oil because of their travel. Now, this has a coating, a titanium nitride coating, which will co protect it from corrosion. So, the fact that it's D2, if corrosion's an issue, then this would be fine for you. At least as far as I know. Um, we have a multicolor G10. Now, the Shielden recently upgraded their clips. They have an inset flat screw deep carry clip. Let's see how it feels in hand. Now... Right now, just grabbing it, it's not bad, but I, I don't like putting it on the corner like that because you see how this kind of hangs over right there. I personally don't feel it too much, but I just don't like that position. Anyways, it feels good in the push um, the push cut grip. You can get over the, the flipper tab pretty good. It's not a full finger toil, but you can use it. Blade shape's very unique on this one. Definitely good for utility cuts and push cutting. Um, access to the liner, here's the lockup. Nice early lockup, feels very strong. Now that's another thing with the shield and knives. Ooh, nice smooth action. Detent is pretty good. Um, the other shield and knives I had had really strong lockup. And I don't mean that the lock bar was over traveled too far. Some of them were about 50%, but what I mean is that they just, they felt very strong. Nice smooth action. Detent is tuned pretty good. Um, detent on the close is right there. Pretty easy to get past. Can you reverse flick? Uh, you can. It's tight, though. Yeah. You can do it, but it's just not the best. This, If they wouldn't have put this scoop going downward, if they would have just brought it straight across, then it'd be easy because I want to flick it right here, but I can't. So I have to, like, push my knuckle up and, yeah. It's not the best. You kind of got to give it a little bit of a wrist flick. Thumb flick, you can do it, but it's not that easy again. Um, yeah, pretty cool, though. Uh, sharpening choil looks good. Flipping action is good. The ergos are just a little weird. It almost feels like a, a sway back. Let's check out the next one. They do give you a pouch, though. Just FYI, I think they do it mostly so that it doesn't get crushed in the box. But it's something uh, that, I mean, some people could use. You could put it on your belt or just use them for storage to help store the knives. Because they all come with it, as you can see right here. Okay, this is the one in 14C28N. It's a polished blade. 14C with a polished blade. Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> very, very polished. The only thing is I think 14C might be awfully fingerprinty. Now, it almost has like um, a hand satin polish. If you look, you can see the waves. 
but very fingerprinty with a polish. I don't think this is the kind of knife you really want to polish on, but I mean, some people might want to polish on a budget because these are budget knives. Ooh, nice good action. Nice detent, nice sound too. Very nice sound. One more time. Ah, I didn't do it that time. Nice, nice sound. Multicolor G10. Now, this one's not a deep carry clip. I don't know about that clip. Oh, yeah. Um, It's not horrifying. It's not too bad, but I do feel it right here. Look at that. Yeah. Um, You want to center the clips. Get rid of this. Uh, I mean, if you have to have a lanyard hole, put it in the back. You don't drill it through the knife because you could center this clip otherwise. Access to the lock bar and lockup. Lockup looks good. Let's move my fingers out of the way. Never test the lockup like this. I see people do that, and I know right away they're not actually testing the lock. Because if you're actually testing the lock and it fails, you don't want your finger right here when it fails. I, I've done that. So nice and strong. Good access to the lock bar. Very, very smooth. Polish probably helps. See if we can reverse flick it. Oh, yeah. Very easy. I wonder uh, if I could do it up here. You can, but it's not as easy. But definitely down here because there's so much blade hanging out. It is a cool blade shape. It is unique. Oh, here's the name. The Bulbasaur. <laughs> I didn't even show you guys the name. Sorry, guys. The Bulbasaur. 14C28N, G10. All the information right there. Pretty cool, though. Definitely a cool blade shape. These leaf blade shapes are extremely useful for, um, mu like, multitasks. You know, just different things. All right, let's check out the next one. Okay, this next one is the Relicant. The Relicant. Ooh, we got an orange one. Okay, orange G10, D2 with the coating again, blue ooh, blue pivot collar, deep carry clip again. Why do they keep putting the clip on the side right there? I don't get it. Why wouldn't they put it in the middle? All right, flip. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, wow. Okay, this one's got really good action. Yeah, this one's good. I mean, the other ones were good, too. This one's definitely um, the smoothest so far. So we have kind of a harpoon drop point blade with this stonewashed coating. Is this stonewashed nitride? Oh, wrong one. This one is uh, just a black stonewash. So that's cool. Access to the liner is really good. There's the lockup. Nice and strong. Very, very smooth on the drop. The detent is super solid on this one for both forms of deployment. The clip looks like it'll work good. It's a little cheap, very cheap clip. Um, it is in set with flat screws, so that's a good thing. And I'm not saying it's a, a bad clip. I just, man, I wish it was centered. If it was centered, I probably wouldn't even be saying too much about it. In the hand, yes, I feel it. I feel like I'm like hanging on to it right here. Like, I'm squeezing it. Like, oh, it's so bad. I mean, it's not, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's not horrible. But, I mean, look. You, your, hand, your fingers go around right here. This is right where this part of your hand pinches. You want to put it in the center. But, it is a good knife, though. Um, so... Geometry, mediocre, decent, not too thick, not too thin. So that's a good grind. Next one is the BOA. This is the one I'm most interested in. At least I thought I was. 
All right, the boa. Ooh, this one looks cool. All right. Ooh, nice flipping action. All right, we got another black stone wash. Nice stone wash. I do like this black stone wash. I'd rather have it stone washed than not. Very cool blade shape. It makes it where you can cut things like this, you know, like what without your hand getting in the way. You can cut things like this. You can get to the tip very easily. You can use the secondary tip as well. This is a cool blade shape. That's awesome. Kind of like the um what is it the hogue deca kind of like the hogue deca very cool um g10 it definitely has kind of a snake look and then we have jimping around the edges that's pretty cool you can barely see it but that is more textured on the edges and it gives a nice little design um lock bar access really good Nice and smooth. Detent. A little bit on the lighter side, but it's very reliable. And I'm guessing that's because, yes, very nice reverse flick. So the reverse flick works great. Yeah. Let's see if we can thumb it. Oh, yeah. The clip. Okay, so I. this is my favorite one so far. Um, even though it's not deep carry, I don't mind it not being deep carry. It's that it's centered. I like that it's centered in the hand. Oh yeah. That feels nice and comfortable. Oh yeah. That's, that's a better one. So this, you know, it is a cheap looking clip, but it looks like it'll function good. It's not going to hurt my hand. I have something to pull in and out of my pocket. So like I said, it will function really good. Now a deep carry clip, most people probably would like better. Um, I don't really care if it's deep or not deep carry. I just don't want, I just want it to work. So, and look good, I guess. So I guess this one, uh, if it was a deep carry, it might look a little bit better. A lot of times you don't want too much hanging out of your pocket. This has quite a bit hanging out of the pocket. Good action though. Lots of milling on the inside. Check out the stop pen. Not too bad. It's not a um, not too small. I like them nice and big, but this one's not uh, not too small. I do like this blade shape. It looks like it'll work really, really good for like opening things up and you know, like on the other side of this box, where you can use the tip like that, or you can use the secondary tip like that. Let's get another one. Okay, where you can go like this. On a box, it'd be a lot easier, like on the top of a box, but then you can use this area if you needed to cut into something, because this is nice and, is it flat? Yeah, it's practically flat. A little tiny bit of rounding, but not much. It's mostly flat. That's perfectly flat, so that's cool. So, pretty cool though. Um, I, this one's definitely my favorite. This one, man, has the best action. Um, this one, I mean, I like having the reverse flick. So, maybe this one's my favorite action, just because of the reverse flick. But, I do like thumb studs, so, and this one, man, this one just, yeah, it has a, a smoothness to it that is really really nice but the other two are really cool too um polished blade on 14c that's that's definitely uh risky risky for sure <laughs> especially on you know the price of a user knife Django is the um, the designer of all these we have a gray pivot collar i wonder if that's titanium it's probably aluminum i don't know but there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.